Hey guys, back in another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to edit the UI in Black Desert. So the UI in Black Desert can be pretty annoying at the base. You've got a lot of stuff cluttering up the screen. Um, you have things that will randomly appear as you use them. And then the more you get into the game, the more things will appear. Your quest log will get bigger. Uh, you'll start getting marketplace notifications. Black Spirit will start to annoy you. You get mail. So. I'm going to show you how to make that either go away or change it to your preferences. So first let's explain what the UI is. So we've got your level, your skill points, and the progress towards the next skill. That's a percentage, 58%. You've got your energy, your current and your energy pool. You've got your contribution points, your current leftover, and the total you have. This is your residence if you have residence. These are your workers if you have any workers. These are your pets, and these are your maids. Once again, you need to have or own at least one of each of them to open up the things. And there will also be a horse emblem here if you have a horse currently active. Up here you have your buffs and your current other little things. So value pack, node investment, experience boost because of the weekend, uh, horse buff, appearance change coupon, and Merce Palette. That's all up there. Up here we have a few different things for the game. So show node installation area. You don't really need to have that on. You can have that on or off. Like to leave it off because otherwise you get this sort of interesting northern lights look uh, these are the current hunting spotted on the server this is to activate voice chat uh, you don't really need this just keep it off this is the guide opening this up will open up a sort of separate thing don't really need that and these this is pretty useful these are the NPCs pressing it will take you to the nearest NPC of that type so this one's pretty useful then you get your menu up here your quest log uh, guild, Black Spirit, Friend, Mail, Pearl Shop, all things that can be used with keyboard shortcuts. Rewards, this one's actually really important right here, is this where you can claim your daily experience stuff once you hit, I want to say, level 15, as well as any current ongoing events that are on. For example, the uh, currently the Meadow Trail and Steep Seal event is happening, as well as the Coin for Treat event for Halloween. And then, of course, we've got your Quick Bar health and mana or whatever other resource pool and your chat as well as the chips and then up here in the center of the screen we've got uh, a few things we can disable they're just little cheat sheets that show you what your current uh, abilities that you're using are and then uh, you, you've also got it'll show your uh, your most recently used ability so to change all of this UI just press escape and hit edit UI so these little things here you can move them around uh, you can turn them on or off so turn off the skill cooldown or just move it down a bit. Uh, turn off the skill guide is pretty uh, important, unless of course you're new and you really want to learn your skills, then skill guide and action combo guide can be pretty important. I like to leave my quest widget off because I know what quests I'm doing as I have finished most of the important quests in the game. Main quest you might want to leave on just so that the Black Spirit can tell you what to do. You cannot turn off a few things uh, or move them. Uh, you can turn off residence, but I'd, I'd advise keeping this stuff on. You can turn off chat, for example. For most of my videos, I like to turn off chat, just so you guys don't have to see my guild chat. So I'll turn that off for this. Uh, HP bar, menu button. And yeah, so you, you can kind of play around with this, move stuff where you want it. And then what you can do is you can save that to a preset. So for example, for this, I'll make it my video. Uh, do, do turn all that off. Keep the minimap on for you guys. Turn that off. That has to be on. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. And then you can save that to a preset. So by saving that to my preset, actually that that opened my preset. Actually, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So I was making preset two here. So once you've got everything turned off that you want turned off, you can just save, and then it'll ask you to save the current UI settings, so we'll save that to preset 2. Oh, and I forgot to turn something off there, so if I just go back to my edit UI, preset 2, turn off skill guide, save, save it to preset 2 again, and there you have it. That is my new UI. So obviously that's not the UI I'm going to mainly use, but that is just a general idea of how to get it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, that's how you edit your UI, and uh, have a good one. Subscribe if you like it.